Hi, my name is Matt Kendricks. I'm the project founder for Decent Router. In this video, I'm going to focus on receiving inbound calls from an upstream carrier. So let's look at the call flow. So first, we'll configure the upstream SIP provider to communicate with DSIP router. DSIP router will be configured to communicate with the team's infrastructure. The team's infrastructure will then route the call down to my team's client. In previous videos, I primarily focused on how easy it is to set up DSIP router to communicate with Microsoft Teams. Today, I'm going to focus on how to configure a carrier to route into DSIP router. And we're going to focus on a particular carrier, which I'm super excited about. Uh, and the carrier is, is SignalWire. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and log into our, our SignalWire uh, space here, our workspace. I already have a workspace defined called Microsoft Teams Dev. Okay, so now that we're in our workspace, uh, they have a very application-centric view into managing uh, SIP communications, which I love being an application developer. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, go purchase a phone number so that we can actually use that to uh, call inbound. So uh, you click on New. Uh, you select a number in your in your area code. I, I represent the 313. So I could uh, search on that and I can receive or grab a phone number uh, in the 313 area code. I already have a phone number that I purchased, so I will use that. So the next thing we need to do, we need to actually configure uh, the SIP endpoint that we'll use to register. Uh, they only support uh, SIP registration, which is fine because DSIP router supports IP authentication and also uh, username and password authentication. So let's go ahead and uh, click new here and uh, see what it takes to create an endpoint. So first you need to define a, a username and a password, which uh, makes sense. And also notice that um, that uh, SignalWire gives you a unique URL that you will use to do your registration with. So you'll actually put this as part of the uh, part of the actual registration server name inside a decent router, which will will I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, you can uh, create a password. Uh, optionally, you can specify a caller ID for outgoing calls from SIP to SIP, which we're gonna we're just gonna leave that blank and uh, send as. Uh, this is where you can specify what phone number uh, you want tied to this particular SIP endpoint. So for me, I just purchased a number. So I am going to tie this phone number to this SIP endpoint. So this means when I call this phone number, it will hit uh, the registered endpoint. I'm going to use uh, the default uh, encryption and I'm going to specify keep the default codecs as well. All right, so I already have a SIP endpoint, so I'm not going to save that. Um, this is what my my endpoint looks like, and this is what we'll use for the registration. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into uh, DSIP router and uh, and get things going here and get things configured. Okay, let's go ahead and log into DSIP router. Let's go over to carrier groups. Let's eat it. Let's create a new carrier group. So let's call it signal wire demo. And uh, we'll actually specify that we're going to use username and password authentication. Uh, let's put the password in. Um, let me go grab the endpoint that we, the unique endpoint that they provide us. All right. And then we just need to click add. All right. So now this endpoint is created. Uh, let's take a look at one I already had uh, predefined. Uh, the one thing I'm going to note on this predefined one is that 
uh, the, the endpoints. So endpoints inside of a carrier group defines the IPs in which decent router will allow inbound traffic from. So uh, SignalWire has a, a few different uh, SIP proxies. So you'll need to obtain those IP addresses and put them into the endpoints. Uh, in the next release of uh, DSIP router, we will do that on your behalf. So it will actually come installed with a signal wire gateway with all the endpoints that they have already defined. But for right now, you'll need to add the endpoints uh, in manually. Uh, and, and one quick note, uh, one of the ways that I just figured out what the endpoints were is that I would allow, I would basically open up uh, my terminal, start sing grep, call the, the number that I purchased, and then I'll see the IP address in which uh, the call is coming from. So that's how I will capture the endpoints and put them into here, okay? All right, so now, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, what well, we'll save our reload for right now. We'll go over to inbound DID mapping. And uh, what we'll need to do um, is, uh, if you don't already have one, you'll need to add a, a uh, a endpoint mapping so this is a uh, accept traffic and you don't need to put a DID if you want to accept all of them or we could put the DID that we have and we just need to route it back to a a uh, team's domain so I already have one already uh, created It's called accept all uh, now I'll do a, uh, a reload and let's go ahead and uh, make a call. I'll bring up my Teams client here. And here we have it. And here we have it. All right, so so now we have a inbound call uh, coming from SignalWire, uh, hits decent router, and decent router then routes it um, into Teams. So pretty simple. So uh, that's it. Uh, enjoy. If you have any questions, please reach out. Take care.